the GLSA Scientific Associate, Dr. Joanna Mastora, will discuss pedagogy and the Olympic values. And uh, they had organized a famous and important congress, pre-Olympic congress, along with the University of Queensland. So uh, I believe that this is great news, not only from the natural point of view, uh, the natural environment and uh, the organization, uh, the sea, uh, but also the scientific expertise they offered. <coughs> My own point of view is uh, how um, life-saving sport has Olympic qualities, uh, not only in the sense of sport activities, uh, not only the technical characteristics, but also uh, according to the, to the Olympic principles, the Olympic values that uh, the Coubertin established. This is my own concern and this is my own contribution uh, in life-saving uh, sport. Sports pedagogy means sports through basic theories and principles of pedagogical science, but also of other sciences such as philosophy, psychology, sociology, anthropology. It aims to develop skills and abilities of young people and individuals of all age groups with the appropriate pedagogical actions. The qualities that sport pedagogy tends to develop are both physical and psychological. Games and sport activities favor, to a significant extent, the socialization of the individual, develop their personality, develop and learn through physical education. Focusing on life-saving sport, I would like to say that this is inclusive, anthropocentric, idealistic, social, serving the main humanistic ecumenical principles of the Olympic Charter. Pedagogy in the case of life saving describes the work of the trainer and the art of teaching through specific techniques and methods as all the other sports, but especially serving humanistic values. is not only a consequence of the experience and innate characteristics of the trainer, it includes his philosophy, communication skills, techniques to activate the athletes, teaching and learning techniques, organizational skills, <coughs> the ways of demonstrating the exercises in order and systematically, the instructions, feedback comments, and the way of communicating the sport activity. It is important for the trainer to have mastered the knowledge of the techniques, but also to be able to analyze, synthesize, and reconstruct them, apply and adapt them according to the needs of the athlete. We developed, we have developed 
uh, with Dr. Agramidis, two manuals. Uh, the one uh, was about fair play in sport living, sport living, uh, uh, life saving sport. sport. And the other is the opportunities and challenges of facing the certain sport as an Olympic sport. Our objective is not only to ensure the celebration of the Olympic Games, but also encourage practice of sport by all people in society, regardless of sex, age, social background, or economic status. This is done in many ways here and around the whole five con continents. We want to increase access to sport for all and provide anyone, in particular young people and children, with educational and health values of sport, as well as good sportsmanship. We have tried to incorporate all the Olympic values uh, in the certain sport. What is now the relationship between the Olympic Games and sport pedagogy? The original versions of the Olympic Charter, written by the Cooper 10, the International Olympic Committee listed for general aims, promote the development of those physical and moral qualities which are the basis of sport. <coughs> Educate young people through sport in the spirit of better understanding between each other Friendship, thereby helping to build a better and more peaceful world. Spread the Olympic principles throughout the world, thereby creating international goodwill. Bring together the athletes of the world in a great four yearly sport festival, the Olympic Games. De Coubertin spent the rest of his life and his fortune to promote this philosophy. The philosophy that can support important educational goals in all parts of the world. Body, mind and spirit, inspiring youth to participate in physical activities. Fair play, which is the core spirit of sport. Multiculturalism and, of course, self-confidence, self-respect. All these values are incorporated in life-saving sport. Special events like the Olympic Games create relevance also for assignments in a variety of subject areas. Olympic stories, uh, we have organized several workshops for children as well. Uh, this is very important in the swimming pool, in the sea. Um, we try to encourage uh, children with Olympic stories. Uh, Mr. Pistarakis. Uh, I would like to acknowledge his presence. Excuse me for not acknowledging him for uh, the first moment. Um, learning activities are based on the following principles. Learning is not, is, is not a passive but an active activity. Students and uh, <coughs> children in this need to be actively engaged in discussion in different types of activity, especially fair play activities. And uh, the best discussions usually take place uh, at the beach uh, with uh, many trainers and uh, animators and of course in the university, in the University of Athens, uh, where Dr. Abraham <coughs> has the opportunity to approach and uh, inspire students in the university education. Children need opportunities to work together as well as independently. They also need to practice cooperative behaviors in order to learn cooperative actions. To experience the joy that comes for regular participation in physical activities. To learn and practice important social and life behaviors within the context of participation in sport and, of course, in life-saving sport. To respond to experience and appreciate the health benefits that the result from physical activity experience and understand the satisfaction that comes as life-saving skills are developed through appropriate movement activities. Uh, I have so many things uh, to say, but uh, I think let's have to be brief.
in order to give the start to other people. My own, uh, my own themes, my own uh, uh, contribution uh, can be found in uh, uh, the certain uh, booklet uh, that we have developed along with Dr. Andramidis and Mr. Dimakopoulos. Uh, Thank you so much for including me in this great and inspiring sport. I have uh, been uh, an amateur athlete. I'm a mother, I have two babies, uh, two years old, and uh, I promise that I'll register them for uh, the next Olympic Games. <laughs> Thank you so much.